Hi guys, welcome to Boxing Science. Not a subscriber to our YouTube channel yet? Please hit the subscribe button. Today we're going to take uh, you through a tape session with Callum Bearder, who's four days away from his fight. What's important about the final strength and conditioning session is that he's loose around his shoulders, his hips, but also he's firing up the glutes, also firing up his core as well, ready for fight night. Okay, if you've got any questions or comments about any of the exercises, please leave them in the comment box below. Enjoy the video. Start off on you do, doing a bit of your right pec, a little bit around your shoulders because we're going to be working on rotation today and then work on your lower back as well. Okay. Start treatment. And then turn your hand in. Good. Then up. up, up, up. And then back down. So today we're going to be working a lot of uh, rotation, a lot of facet rotation. A big con limiting factor to this can be QL, which is muscle that just sits just around about here in the back. This contributes to like kind of side bending and if, and if that's too tight, then that affects the rotation. So it's important that we kind of do some soft tissue release work, relieve that tension. So then Calm can maximize his rotation when doing his rotational mobility exercises. First exercise that we're doing, lunge and rotate. Just take your time in that bottom. Rotate. Rotate, yeah. We're boom sit, but I just really want you to focus on it. Uh, just do five on each leg. And I want you to do quadruple rotations where your hands just at your temple. Rotating out. And then actually using your arm as well. Okay, eight on each side of that. Yeah, yeah. Let's just uh, control this, yeah. So we're only wanting to rotate from there. Nice. Take deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Just relax that diaphragm as you're trying to rotate, you'll find you get a lot more rotation. Go, 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 go. Keep that tension through your arm, core, through your hips as well. I'm going to go through jab, cross, hook on either side, and uppercut on either side, okay? Core nice and tight, glutes tight. Right, cross. Good. Fire up those hips, core nice and tight. Uppercut. Left side's feeling strong, mate. Nice. And you're just going to go into put, twist and reach. Pivot in on that spot. Hips come all the way through. Reach in. And if you look in the mirror, you want to try and see that Boxing Science logo on the back. Twisting through. Product placement there. <laughs> okay. So rotate all the way through. Reach in as far as you can. So in that centre point, trying to get as much rotation through the upper shoulders as you can. It's feeling so much stronger than the last fight there. Just hold it a little bit more at that end range. Good. Just have your fingers out as well. Just so you try and get that feeling of reaching, stretching your muscles. Good. Yeah, you don't want to be like there, trying to reach across and tense tensing up. Want you to relax, try and get as much work. The main thing is, is your rotation. Good. Time for my glutes, your core, glutes. Yeah. Nice and tight. Good. Okay, so you're going to do sidewalks, mm -hmm. side to side, and then you're just going to go into shadow box. Yeah, sure. Just free, free flowing. Yeah. Good. Okay. Nice and loose. <laughs> Move around. Hands on opposite shoulders and we're going to do our rotations, okay? So you're going to take a deep breath in, deep breath out, rotate. 
And then you're going to push slightly against me, yeah? Just three, two, one. Okay, relax. Take deep breath in. Deep breath out. Try and rotate it more. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good. Push against me slightly here. Three, two, one. Keep your chest up. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Work, lateral movement, work on your pivots. Good, push against me slightly here. Good, relax, deep breath in, deep breath out, keep your chest up. Go on, fire some towards camera, Carl. Yes! Right. Oh, that's a promo, that's a promo shot. <laughs> Get into the pocket, dip and drive, and then we're doing the med ball side there. So I wanted to do eight pogos, four each side ice skaters, and then just three each side of the med balls. Yeah. Fire it in. Well, getting across, but you're allowed that little bit of rotation in there. Yeah. At the minute, it's there. Yeah. You're throwing it a little bit like a rugby player. Yeah. A bit. Go, boom. Because yeah, that, that'll really transfer into your hooks, yeah? yeah? There, boom. If you, really, ideally, yeah. you want to keep your foot down. Yeah. But, because it's fight weak, you can, boom. Get, whip them in, drive it in your knee, yeah? Dip and drive, good. Transfer that weight across. So cross whip it in. Power. Yes, good. One side. Good, keep felting. Keep your chest up all the time, shoulders pinned back. Brilliant, well done. Drive it in. Nice. Keep your foot in on this one. Because last one you were hip extending, but then you're moving your foot. Good. Okay, lower this leg, slowly down. One more time, each time I'm trying to just get that little bit more range. Down, I want you to hold it. I'm just gonna put my foot on top. Right, right in the way, glute. Feel it in your hip. Right in my hip. Yeah. Okay, relax, deep breath in, deep breath out. I'm out straight. Okay guys, so that's a workout. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment box below and we'll get back to you. If you're not a subscriber to our channel yet, please hit the subscribe button. Like I mentioned before, if you want to follow any of these training methods, you can sign up to our Train Like Champion membership or we've got a range of products as well. The link's in the description below at boxingscience.co.uk. Hopefully I'll see you on the next video.